So in this series, it's been a journey to really take an ordinary object that you can find at home or a very simple instrument and see where can you take it in terms of turning something which seems kind of very simple into an instrument, an instrument that starts to sing, an instrument that starts to speak. And so in this section, I want to talk a bit about a really recent opera that I did in Germany. It's called Tree of Codes and it was premiered just a month ago in April. So very, very fresh. And lo and behold, in this opera, the woodblock has a starring role. Very, very uh, kind of unusual and unexpected. So the humble woodblock becomes a symbol for the voices of a crowd. And the musicians who are on stage at various points grab hold of this instrument and play en masse to represent this crowd. In act three of the opera, there's a whole scene where uh, in the opera, there's the character of the father. He's obsessed by birds and he makes these mutant birds out of rubbish. Uh, and there's a scene where the crowd comes on and they begin to throw stones at these birds to bring them down. And so this is a segment of the opera where you hear the soprano sing, that the, the birds are flying, but they're blind to the father, they don't recognize him. And then you see this crowd come on, they're holding the woodblock with their beaters and they say, all of a sudden, stones begin to whistle through the air. The stupid, thoughtless people are throwing these stones to bring the birds down. So here's this section. So there's something about the raw power of massed percussion that's used in that section. And right at the end of the scene, this crowd with woodblocks comes back again. And so Eugene, um, I just want to demonstrate uh, a section. And it's actually um, a part where the soprano is telling a story about the son and the father and how they're walking through the night. Uh, and it refers to a very famous poem by Goethe called Der Erlkönig, the Earl King. So it's a, it's a poem about uh, a father and son riding late through the night and the son is snatched by this fairy king. It's very disturbing and a very uh, famous poem that was set by Schubert in one of his um, most well-known leader, Der Erlkönig. But anyway, in the opera, I've got this section where the soprano is whispering some of these lines from the poem and it's very spooky it's very mysterious it's uh it's kind of conjuring up this magic and so she says they write it so spät durch nacht und wind and then in answer the woodblock says exactly the same thing es ist der vater mit seinem kind Okay, so it's another form of dialogue between woodblock and voice. 
And then again, this builds up in the scene. So um, again, you see this group of people come on, this crowd, very kind of menacing, um, you know, crowd. And, and in the opera, you, you see that actually the father's turned into a cockroach. Yeah, it's a weird opera. And the crowd is, is, is kind of, you know, sweeping them away with the, the gestures and the sound of the rust sticks on the woodblock. And so we have Kaylee also joining us to build up the sound of this woodblock. And this is the kind of um, sounds that you'll hear. Cool, okay, great. So woodblock as maybe marching feet as the, the sound of, of, a, of a, you know, kind of mob, um, as a kind of insect world as well. So lots of things are suggested by this, this sound. We've really traveled from, you know, the, the little block of wood. The $2 block of wood. Yeah, the $2 block of wood with a little tapping to um, a position, uh, you know, kind of really playing a, a characters in uh, a staged opera. So wood block becomes you know, fully blown sort of dramatic character. And here's this section from Act 3 of the opera Tree of Codes. <laughs> 